Hey yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel, MChanza TV. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys some of the best Clash card rank tips and tricks to win every match and reach Grandmaster quickly. So before the video starts, make sure you guys drop us a like down below. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and press that bell notification button to be notified when I upload new videos. So without any further talking, let's start today's video. Tip number one: character combination. So first I'll tell you guys some of the main characters that I use for CS rank matches and next I'll tell you guys the 3 main character combinations that I use. So as you guys know, we can use up to 4 character skills when playing. So when selecting the characters, it's best to choose the characters which will help you increase your movement speed, give you additional health, track enemies and give you a good defense. So guys, here are the 3 main active character skills that I recommend for Clash Code rank matches. The first character is Chrono. As you guys can see, Chrono creates a force field that blocks 600 damages from enemies. One can fire at outside force from within the force field and here you guys can also see that the movement speed increases by 10% So in simple words, Chrono's shield and movement speed will help you in Clash Cross rank matches The second character is Arlok As you guys can see here, Arlok creates a 5 meter aura that increases movement speed by 15% and restores 5% HP per second for 10 seconds So you guys can clearly see that Arlok will be very useful in Clash Cross rank matches since he will provide both health and movement speed The third character is Wukong. Wukong's bush can actually be a game changer in Clash Code rank matches because his skill resets as soon as you knock down an enemy. So you will be able to take down a whole squad with his skill even if you are the only one left in your squad. But guys, Wukong has some weaknesses such as when you aim the crosshair at the head level, make it red and shoot like this, Wukong easily gets defeated. And guys, when you throw grenades at Chrono's shield, they bounce back like this. But when you throw grenades at Wukong's push, Wukong easily gets defeated like this. So those are two of the ways that you can defeat Wukong's push if you encounter him in Clash Code rank matches. So guys, here are some of the best characters that will increase your movement speed in Clash Code rank matches. The first character is Kelly, and the second one is Joseph, and the third one is Carolyn. And guys, here are some of the characters that will help you track enemies easily. The first character is Moku, the second character is Clue, and the third one is the new character Otto. And guys, at last, the Antonio character is also very useful for Clash Code rank matches because he provides you with additional health. So guys, when choosing characters for the four slots, try to choose a combination of characters that will provide you with defense, movement speed, health and tracking. So here are my three favorite character combinations. Character combination number one. First we got Chrono for defense, Kelly for movement speed, Antonio for health and Moko for tracking. Character combination number two. So for first we got Wukong for defense, Kelly for movement speed, Antonio for health and Moko or Otto for tracking. Character combination number three. First we got Arlok for health and movement, Kelly for movement, Joseph for movement and Antonio for health. So guys now let's get on to tip number two, win the first round. So guys always try to win the first round because you'll get more money and loot than the enemy's team so it will give you a better advantage over them. And guys the two main weapons you'll have to use in the first round are M500 or any other type of pistol. So guys if you guys can do one tap hits as well, I recommend you guys to go with the M500 but if it's hard for you to do one taps, I recommend you guys to go with the other types of pistols. But if you guys wanna learn how to do one tap hits using the M500 gun, don't worry, I have already uploaded a video on that. I will leave the link to that video in the description down below. So guys, after choosing the weapon, you might have coins to buy a helmet and a vest. But if you guys have only coins to buy only one of them, I recommend you guys to go with the vest because most players try to knock us down with body shots. And guys, select the guns that are easy for you to use and select the guns according to the map you get. For example, for long range fights, take long range weapons, and for short range fights, take short range weapons. And guys, another the important thing is don't buy unnecessary items only buy the things that you need and save the other coins for the next round and if you have a lot of coins help your teammates buy things that they need and guys when playing always try to get the height advantage because it will be easy to locate enemies and finish them off with headshots so guys now let's get on to tip number three teamwork and coordination so guys one of the main things that you should do first is to appoint a leader in your squad and the leader should be the one who should plan on how to attack how to defend and how to rush and guys the other squad members should listen and follow the leader's plan so the next thing is you shouldn't rush into the enemy squad alone. For example, think that you knock down an enemy and you try to rush him. But if the other three players rush you from different sides or if they use character skills such as Wukong and Chrono, it will be hard to defend. So it's best to rush and attack together as a team. So guys, the next most important thing is that you should play with players who have their mics on because if you don't talk with your teammates, they might get separated and the enemy team will easily knock down your team. So make sure that everyone turns their mics on. One of the best strategies that pro players use is the flanking 
king method. What it simply means is that one or more players should go from the other sides of the map and attack the enemy from their back. And the other teammates can distract the enemy while the others go from the back and attack the enemy from behind. And if you guys have a sniper or a long range weapon using your squad, they can damage enemies from long range and it will be easy to defeat the enemies from the front side. So make sure you guys use the flanking method in clash card rank benches. Another important tip is to always finish the enemy when they get knocked down or they might get revived and come back again. Tip number 3. Grenades. Make sure you guys take the full advantage from grenades because you guys can even take down a whole squad with them. Also guys make sure to time the grenades perfectly and if you guys have a good grenade use in your squad give the extra grenades to them. Also guys make sure you guys use the beast on pets ability. The reason that I say this is because as you guys can see here the throw in distance of grenades, blue walls, flashbangs and smoke grenades are increased by 10%. So make sure you use the beast on pets ability when you play clash card rank matches. And guys make sure you guys share this video with your other teammates so you guys will be able to push your rank and win matches easily together and that's basically for today's video guys if you guys learned something new make sure you guys drop us a like down below and if you're new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe and press the bell notification button to be notified when i upload new video and if you guys want to learn how to do headshots using the m500 gun check out the video on the left side and if you guys want to learn how to do headshots using the ump gun check out the video on the right side